the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, Anderson is, as far as I know, the only guy who's successfully come back after that shin break. Yeah. No one else has really, no one else was able to do it. Well, uh, didn't uh, McGregor? Well, Tyron didn't, Spong. Did McGregor fight? Uh... No, he hasn't fought since oh, the, okay. the injury. Oh, okay, he hasn't fought the injury. But right. Tyron Spong, he's yep. done it. He injured, yep. He, he, he had a horrible one against Gokan Saki. Mm -hmm. Horrible. Same thing as uh, Chris Weidman, Uriah Hall, yeah. same check. Horrible snap. And his, his, isn't he about to come back, though? He's good well, Tyron fight. Spong became a boxer. I mean, see, he'll still do MMA. I know he had at least one MMA fight since then. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, he was an elite kickboxer. He was elite, man. Yeah, he, was he was so good. Yeah. And to see his shin snap like that, you're like, God yeah. damn. Mm -hmm. I mean, you would always think about it before you went to throw a shot. Mm -hmm. You would always think about the two years it took you to fucking regrow your bone back where you could throw kicks with it again. Yeah. I wouldn't say it slowed my kicks down. Checks have done that enough, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Checks hurt hurt enough or deterrent enough. But, uh, it, yeah, it definitely gives you something to think about, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely It's the most one of the most of horrific it. injuries in the sport. Yeah. That that shin injury. And it's happened. So There's so many versions of it now on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> you find so many you see a, small shows where guys are doing it, yeah. accidentally breaking their legs. I think Noguera uh, getting his arm snapped was pretty oh, horrific was as horrible. well. That was yeah. horrible. I mm -hmm. saw another girl get her arm snapped in a jiu-jitsu tournament. Yeah. Same thing. Oh, God damn it, tap. <laughs> I remember when uh, Khabib had Michael Johnson. And I remember thinking, just please tap, please tap, please yeah. tap. Just please tap. Don't make me see this, man. Don't make me see this. Yeah. Tap. He got you. Fight another day. Please tap. Please tap. That fucking spiral arm fracture from that Kimura mm -hmm. is so nasty. Yeah. Ugh. And I hear those are from from doctors. I hear those are really hard to uh, repair to heal. and stuff. Yeah, to heal. hard to repair. Yeah. You, you know, who knows if your arm's ever going to be the same again? Yeah. That's a rough one to come back from. My friend Tom broke his arm playing basketball. Like, what was it? Like two years ago. Jamie, two years ago, it's still fucked. He's uh, still struggling. His humerus with it. or ulnar? what part did he break? He broke the top. Broke everything. He broke the top <laughs> bone, like up here. Yeah. Oh, that's a humerus. Yeah, Ugh. it was big. Yeah, big fracture. Yeah, that nerve one, damage in his hand. All I can imagine shit. that one being painful because yeah. not only is the break yeah. painful, but you got the weight of the arm uh -huh. pulling on that thing. Yeah, and that can make it hard for it to heal as well. Yeah, dude, injuries. Yeah, hey, what's the I'm worst? Working. Injury you've had in MMA? In MMA, I've torn. Well, I hadn't. I didn't. In my MMA career, I've torn my pec training. You know what I mean? I think the worst one I had in competition. I mean, I broke my hand in competition. Did you tear your pec in drilling or sparring? It or? was just the, we were initiating a warm up. So it was a warm up role. Me and Ben was like a warm up role, and I was passing his guard. And Ben he, Henderson. Ben Henderson. Yeah. Yep. yep. And he uh, shout out to the lab. Yep. Oh, yeah. All day long. Lab all day. You all know that. Everybody knows what what, what yeah. we do. So uh, It's a great, great yeah, gym. It really is. Yeah. That's the whole reason why I quit my six-figure job and moved move to Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, he had a, a whizzer on my left arm, and I was passing to the right side, so I cleared, the, I cleared his leg, and uh, I went to pass his guard, and I went to uh, – I was extended with my left arm, because he had the wizard, and I went to get strong to collect him up with the side control, and as soon as I contracted that peck, Ooh. it tore, just like that, little three little rips, and it tore. Um, that was February. I think that was during the, that was fight week for John Jones versus, who did his last fight at Light Heavyweight? Dominic Reyes. Dominic Reyes, yeah. yeah. So that happened in Houston at the hotel. And wow. Then I to, and then I came back and fought... Yeah, that was 2020 before COVID. And then I came back and fought Robert Whitaker in Abu Dhabi. Was it still fucked up? No, the pec was fine. Okay. Shout out to Ares Physical Therapy. Uh, yeah, there now you got go. me running on my, my shout outs now. <laughs> shout out to Ares, Ares Physical Therapy. I've been hitting them up since uh, the Anderson Silva fight. You know what I mean? I've been mm -hmm. working out with them, uh, working out there, as well as working out at the lab. Those two combined have... You see, you guys see my cardio. Those two combined has really uh, mm. propelled my career. But uh, I came back after the peck tear to fight Robert Whitaker, and look, not not a minute into the fight, he throws his patented Reaper combo one two 
head kick and breaks my uh, left ulna. Oh, man. So I ended up fighting this guy for, what, another two rounds plus four minutes of the first round with a broken ulna. And uh, I almost got him, too. (laughs) (laughs) You should see the other guy, right? That's one of those crazy freak injuries that, like, it can always happen when you're blocking yeah. kicks. But it was my fault. I blo- I extended my arm to block mm. more reactionary as opposed to being grounded and prepared and, mm. and bracing and, you know, ready to absorb the kick. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, shit, kick. Right. And uh, the reason being because I was slipping his his initiation. Mm-hmm. Typical shit. We all see it happen all day, all day long with Robert Whitaker. We all know that combination. And 